Hello, welcome to Cocoa Knits. I'm going to give you a little overview of the Cocoa Knits uh, worksheet. And what this represents is this light gray area here. This is the seamless yoke. So in the Cocoa Knits method, you first build up the shoulders and then you join everything. And then you've got to grow your sweater from your shoulder width to your full sleeve and full bust circumference. And th it's the same in any top down seamless sweater, this section gets all knitted at the same time. And all the worksheet does is help you track your increases. It's not something else you have to do on top. There's no math involved. It just helps you track those increases. So let me show you what that looks like. Here is Coconut's worksheet all filled out. And you can see that it's got colored vertical lines and those lines match up to the stitch markers in your knitting so when you're knitting that part you've got colored markers that separate each section of your sweater and they match up to your worksheet so there's my red marker this is my front section between my green and orange is my left sleeve etc etc all the way across so what we do to get this set up and this is where the coconuts patterns differ instead of paragraphs of at the same time at the same time what the coconuts patterns do are give you um, the starting stitch count which you just write in you just copy it right off the pattern and hopefully it's what you have for your starting stitch counts and then it's going to tell you how many rows are going to be involved in your seamless yoke for your size draw a line under whatever row it is and that represents your seamless yoke and then it tells you how to fill in each of these columns sleeves first you've got to get from starting to ending stitch counts and this is how you're going to do those increases and then for the back and for each front so it tells you how to fill this in in the pattern and then as you knit using this you've got a little place over here note to self this is what my increases are going to be and it also tells you how to fill in these little um, cheat sheet areas if you want to do a different type of increase that's fine but if you want to do it per the pattern it tells you what to write here so this way you can see that it says plus one before marker if you have an increase before the marker you're going to read this as you knit going from right to left across your row so if you have a, a plus one i use check marks because i'm lazy before a marker you can see in row one i've got a an increase before my orange marker what does that mean it means two stitches before the marker i need to do a knit through the right loop knit two if your increase is after your marker it's defined there so as you knit across this row you're just gonna follow this exactly knit over here you've got an increase after the green marker so you're just going to do the increase before or after the green marker before the orange marker and just follow right across the shaded lines are pearls so you're just going to purl back without doing anything on this pattern but that is what the worksheet does for you it is not math you have to do it's pretty straightforward and it just um, tracks your increases and helps you knit the seamless yoke without making mistakes that's the idea um, it's got a place for you to write the pattern name and any other notes you want to make if you change the gauge it's got a place for you to note your gauge your needle size um, maybe where you got the pattern if you need that reminder the size you knit the quantity of yarn you used so it has all kinds of things you can write in there or not and then we've got the little um, maker's board that holds it for you and all your other things you can just throw magnets at this and as you knit this you can just track it right down row counter if you need it if you need extra reminders what row you're on or you can just tick off each row with your pencil as you finish it but that is how the worksheet works